Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Corlick with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our Quick Shoot series and is intended to aid the Dreamcast and gaming community. The Stinger Light Gun for the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, now this is a light gun, of course, for the Sega Dreamcast. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what year it came out. I think it was released in 2001. And I base that on the fact that it came originally with a full copy of Death Crimson Ox for the Sega Dreamcast, which came out in late, 19, or late 2001. So uh, it's very possible this is actually one of the rarer versions of the light gun out there. Uh, but I believe I was looking around on the internet and I saw this in a couple other boxes So it's entirely possible this came packaged in different ways And maybe this was just like the last version of it and they were just trying to get rid of inventory by throwing in a free game um, Funny thing about the Dreamcast is there are more light guns on it than there are light gun compatible games Looking into it. I believe there's 13 different versions of the light gun released worldwide uh, One such example is this one by Interact I've done a video on this. There is uh, the Mad Cats one, which I've, again, I've also done a video on this. This is actually my favorite version of the light gun, excluding possibly the Stinger since I haven't really used it much. Um, this one is actually really good, which is surprising because Mad Cats sucks, but uh, this is actually a good light gun. And then uh, the official one, only released in Europe and in Japan. This was never released in the United States or Canada. Um, not entirely certain why. It is the only somewhat region-locked accessory that exists on the Dreamcast. Um, it's not actually region-locked, but the games all lock out this gun specifically, unless you have, you know, that version of the game. So, for example, House of the Dead 2, um, if you have the U.S. version, this gun will not work with it, only because the software says not to. But if you put the European copy of the game in your American Dreamcast, the game, or the controller will work. So yeah, hopefully you understand what I'm saying there. Uh, I like this version, but it's not great. So the Stinger. Uh, originally, uh, you know, this must have cost, according to the price tag on it, cost $64.99. Now, I'm not exactly sure what currency that's in, and the reason I say that is I actually got this um, at a toy store, a toy store, <laughs> I got this from Toy Rat, a video game store up in uh, Milton, Ontario, in Canada. And uh, he gave it to me for free, because that dude is awesome. And if you've never been to Toy Rat and you're in the southern Ontario area or somewhere, you know, New York or Michigan, anywhere nearby, I highly recommend you go and check out that store, because it's awesome. I've done videos on that. Go check them out, and you can see for yourself how great that store is. But yeah, he gave this to me for free, and I've just never had the time to really use it or make a video about it, so here we are doing that. Um, now, I had already had Death Crimson Ox, because, you know, I have all the Dreamcast games. Uh, so this version did not actually come with it, although there is a place where it once came with it. So it either cost $64.99 Canadian at some point, or $64.99 US. Not that that makes much difference now, because they're basically the same. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show it to you. It's, it's not sealed by any means, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take that out here. Okay, take that off and take a look at the gun. Uh, now, it's not a bad design by any means. It's got two triggers on it, start button there, uh, a B button on the back, jolt. I'm guessing it has built-in vibration so that you do not need to put a jump pack right there. At least that's my assumption. Uh, I know you could definitely put a VMU there for saving purposes. Uh, it has normal, reload, and turbo, um, based on however you want to play your game. And then, of course, that's where the uh, controller goes. On the back, you got a little D-pad, B button, and another start button. Yeah, overall, this seems like a nice light gun. Yeah, you could hold it with two hands if you want, or just go with one. I think, I think it's pretty solid, at least so far. So uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, play with this for a little bit. Now, of course, on modern televisions, you know, HDTVs, flat screens, etc., you cannot use a light gun. There is no way around this at all. It's just the way the TVs are designed and the way the light guns are designed, they will never work together. There's no adapter. There's nothing like that that you can do to fix that. So there's only two solutions. You either find, like, a big old... TV, like an old CRT to run these, like a, to run the games on, which I don't like because I hate composite. I won't use it. Um, there's one alternative. Now, this is by no means practical, but it's what I'm going to do. Uh, you can use an old big computer monitor. 
Uh, they are capable of running VGA, so you'll get a nice clean picture, but at the same time, it's also not a flat screen, so it will actually run with the light gun. I've done this before in a previous video as well, and I'm gonna do it now on my Dreamcast kiosk. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna play a little bit of Death Crimson Ox with this. I think it'll be fun. Okay guys, booting up the kiosk here. And as you can see, it uses an alternate menu that has nothing to do with the kiosk. That's actually because it was this uh, Dreamcast was provided by Mark Williams. I did a video on that a while back. He modded this Dreamcast. And thank you again, Mark, because it's awesome inside this kiosk. So anyway, I uh, got the light gun obviously set up here. Inside I have Death Crimson Ox. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and play this a little bit. I've never really played this game much. Uh, yeah, I know there's no save data, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Made by a company named Ecole, Ecol, whatever. Ordinarily, if I was doing a gameplay type of video, I would capture the footage, but I think you understand why this is a special exception. It's about the gun, it's not about the game. But anyway, press start button on the back here. There's a start button. There's also the D-pad, so I can move up and down, whatever. Let's do the story mode real quick uh, and see how it plays. I have the natural instinct when holding this thing to grab this as well. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just because I'm not really much of a gun person. Um, so I couldn't tell you. I'm betting you're probably not supposed to do this, but that's my natural instinct. But it's not with any other light gun, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's there. Yeah, you can pause it. We're not going to, whatever. We're going to skip this because we're going to shoot things. Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, now the, it, see, it feels like it needs to be recalibrated or something, because it's shooting further to the left than I think it should be. It just doesn't feel natural. Like, I'm aiming, I'm aiming like there, and it's like over there, so I'm like compensating for it. That's possibly has something to do with the light gun, or it could just be because this, of the way the monitor is set up. I'm betting it's because of the monitor, because the monitor is up and it's going up that at that angle and I'm kind of just going straight on so actually yeah once I do this it, it fixes it it just feels really awkward so yeah whatever I'm gonna kill all these things this game's fun it's uh it's very similar to House of the Dead too so if you like that you'd probably really like this but uh yeah I think you guys get it um this is a pretty neat light gun, and uh, I, I recommend it if you can get your hands on it. And uh, thank you again to Toy Rat for providing me with this. You did not have to do that, and I apologize for how long it took to get to this video. But uh, that's it, and uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later.